In this video, we're going to talk about swaging and flaring. So I have my swaging kit set up here. As you can see, this is the type of end we use when we're swaging. This is the type of end we use when we're flaring. I have my piece of copper set up in our block here. About three quarters of an inch is the perfect height for that. We always want to ream that out so that's a nice smooth entrance there. We're going to place our swage set up on there. Now notice I got to have plenty of room because I want this piece of copper to have room when we screw this in. Now why will we use this? Well, the price of copper gets pretty expensive. I could easily put a coupling on there. Couplings are getting more and more expensive. And they also have two joints to solder or braze. So the less brazing we do, the less chances there are of a leak. So we're just gonna screw that in till we bottom out here. I can back that out. Take that off of there. So that opens up into a nice coupling and I can insert that tube on there. And I have one joint to braise there. When we get into the flaring, flaring's a little different. Notice we have about the thickness of a nickel sticking out the top of our flaring block. We're going to use the different flaring end. Now I always put just a little dab of oil on there. That helps. Make sure you have your flare on there before you make your flare. It never fails. You'll make a beautiful, perfect flare, and then you'll realize you never put your flare nut on there. And then you'll be starting all over again. So we crank that down till we get nice and tight. Back that off. Remove our piece of copper. You always want to make sure that there's no splits or cracks in the end of that so we got a nice good seal and that our flare nut sits down in there nicely covers all the edges so that's how we do a swage and a flare